in the snow in the monkey. And my controller's just disconnected. Going well. I noticed something I've been doing recently, so I'll scroll along my phone at lunchtime. And I'll scroll through YouTube looking if there's anything uploaded. And I can't watch really anything other than short videos or whatever. I don't have time to properly watch anything at work and I don't want to have the volume so loud. So most of the time it's just short stuff, clips, highlights, whatever. Things that you can understand without much volume, you know. This guy's scored a re you know, this goal they scored a goal and it bounced off the post and off the top bar and off, you know, 16 times or anything like that. Just something daft like that. Quite a lot of dark stuff as well. Usually just Robin Hoods and uh, stuff like that. I'm going to get his nipple out as a celebration. Very interesting. But stuff like that. I realised I could sometimes come across a video and I'll think how they've done it. So one today was... Um, challenge video simple challenge video run for five kilometers and see who's closest run you know run until you think you've ran five kilometers and then we will see who is closest out of our running group I was like oh that'd be an interesting video I wonder how they did that did, did they have a really long straight road where they were like okay you know someone knew where one mark was did they have their watch, their running watches, um, but like I've got a running watch and I can set it to not have the distance. You know, turn the distance off. I can set, I can say what stats I want to be able to show. And on my very not posh running watch, I can have three screens, each with a maximum of three stats on them, and then one of, uh, sorry, two screens I can choose and one of them's a clock. But I could easily, you know, start the run and put it to clock mode. Did they do that? Did they put a phone in their pocket with GPS tracker on it? Like, and, uh, you know, you just... It's a fun game, just don't look at it sort of thing. Uh, I thought I thought about how, and then scrolled on. And I realised, do you know what? I should just go up and add that to my watch later. Because <laughs> it's 
It is the sort of video that I would actually be interested in. YouTube has recommended me a good video that I would be interested in. I should reward the algorithm for, for fucking giving me decent videos that I'm actually interested in instead of the horse shit that it's mostly giving me. I should reward the algorithm when it gives me something good by actually watching the damn thing instead of rewarding it like I always do by watching the stupid clips and stuff. And the VTuber clips. Yeah. That's what my... my feed is filled with fanboys. I reward it for that, rather than rewarding it for entertaining running content from a channel that I've watched a couple of, two or three videos of theirs. Good channel, you know. Not a clickbait title uh, at all. Not in all caps, which I like. Um, and even if some... the. The other video I watched of theirs, it was kind of a clickbait title, but it it was genuine that they actually did it. I can't remember what it was, but um, that's something with YouTube. You see a clickbait title, and there's 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 been clickbait titles of YouTubers that I watch, and I'll watch it, even though I know it's kind of a clickbait title, but at the same time I know that that content will be in there. And it's it's kind of like I'll, if I saw that title and I didn't know the YouTuber, I'd click away. I wouldn't click on it, you know, because it's like, oh, well, it's just a clickbait title. They're not really going to quite do it that much, as much as the thumbnail suggests that they're really going to be doing it. Whereas it's a YouTuber I know, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fine. So you just got to get someone in the door with a clickbait title that they're, that's either so clickbait for th for me you know get me in the door with a clickbait title that's so clickbait i can't help but click on it or with something that can't that isn't clickbait but it kind of is you know something that's definitely true rather than going you won't believe what this whatever can do do that in the thumbnail or whatever but um or, or to be fair, I don't mind it if one of the thumbnail or title says the correct thing. If it either or says something reasonable about it. The thing I don't like are the pointless circles. Like I saw a channel doing it, they were reviewing a handlebar. And they put some circles around this handlebar on the bike. And I thought, oh, are they, you know, fancy zones or something? But it just so happened that right next to that video reviewing that handlebar, someone else who I trusted more, was reviewing the handlebar, and I went in. And it turns out, there's nothing fucking special about the handlebar. Um, other than the fact that it's a really good shape. Well, the shape is special. It's the curl, uh, surly corner bar. If you want to quickly Google that and find out what it is. The surly corner bar, it's very cool, but the circles they put around it weren't on any of the fancy places you can store bags or anything, it was just like, yeah, but the whole thing is just aluminium, just aluminium tube, it's normal aluminium tube, it's not like they'd gone, this is a specific place, it's, technically, yes, you could say that all of the circles are places you can put things, because the entire surly corner bar, there isn't a single place that isn't a reasonable place to mount a gear shifter, a brake lever, or a bag. There's not a single place on that bar that isn't a reasonable place to put one of those for someone. You know, someone's going to be using it like a drop, like a set of drops, and mounting the brakes where you'd normally mount a gear shifter is fine. And someone else is going to be using it like a set of flats, and putting a gear shifter in a weird place in the middle is perfectly fine because the rest of it's going to be wrapped for brakes and holding on to and just having the gear shifter out the way would be good. Just... Yeah, it was daft. <laughs> Do kind of want a surly corner bar though, but I don't have a use for it. Don't have a use for one, they look cool. And they are cool, but I don't intend on doing bike packing enough that I would need a surly corner bar. 
and they're expensive compared to what I'd probably go with if I wanted that kind of comfort I'd just have a generic swept back cruiser bar Nice one.
good. Hit the log. It's an Arctic sound track. It's an Arctic will be returning tomorrow, hopefully, if I can pull myself together and actually uh, do what I need to do tonight, which is the plan. After I finish streaming, I'm going to make the things that I need to be able to stream Zenotic properly tomorrow. Get on with the world record review. This isn't the snow yet. Did I wipe for some reason? I thought it wasn't. Oh, I forgot my bloody water bottle at work. Just realised. It is still on the forklift. Oh well. No. I was doing way better. I did brilliantly on this track. Now I'm doing terribly. It's about five minutes, this one. Let's out foot in it for a while, though. Not bad. Ah, come on. God damn it.
You're on an easy top 10, anything uh, in the tri-wheeler in snow apparently. Because that should not have been uh, any sort of time. Try to keep the slide on. I want to go fast, but not crash. It's difficult. Especially with visibility this low. And sleepiness this high. That also doesn't help. Ah, oh, sod it, let's send the jump. The problem with this jump is that it's right before a corner. So it's really bad to take in basically anything. Never I like how because I've got the stream up on second screen uh, I just get to see a live action replay of all, all crashes while I'm waiting for respawn
Ja, fuck. Sure did that, did you try? For God's sake. Right at the start as well. I think this is probably the hardest stage for me, remembering where to where to break, where to release and where to just floor it. Three minutes and one thousandth of a second, one millisecond? Tenth hundredth, yeah.
to not go Tá bom, isso é bela saca. Você é fel? Is a millimeter is a thousandth of a meter. Ah, uh, no. Love the off-camera crashes as well. When the music just... Uh, the sound continues but the screen's already faded to black. I don't know what I was going to say. When the music stops, it's like... Completely the wrong thing. The sound continues and the screen fades to black and you just hear in the background. Crunch. One time I heard scree because I'd uh, accidentally managed to leap off a cliff. And I'd landed on, it was in Japan, I'd landed on the hairpins below. <laughs> One of the switchbacky ones, or was it Germany? One of the two. Tarmac hairpins. Pretty sure it was Japan. Because it was a steep hill. I just heard screech because I'd leapt far enough.
Hooray! Double check them out, because I do feel like I may have fucked up and gone into the dry on one of them. But we're all good. Nice. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.